in the context on Monday, no one's thinking of Caroline Wilson as being a woman. We, we, we see her as being Caroline Wilson, mm. who's in there, who gives better than she, she gets. And it was all the fun of the fair. Who's going to be the next person? In fact, if you pull that audio back a little bit earlier, yeah. we were talking about Gil McLaughlin has to be the next one. Caroline Wilson's the, the next obvious yeah. one. And that's where it all was. And that was where the fun was. Uh, but I'll reiterate again yeah. that if we are seen to be promulgating in any way, shape or form any sort of acceptance of domestic mm. violence, it is abhorrent and unacceptable. Um, there are reports that Gil McLaughlin rang you last night. Uh, are those reports true? No, they're not true uh, okay. because Gil was sitting on the couch alongside me. Um, so, uh, no, it didn't ring. We, we spoke to each other all through the day. When the story started bubbling, I mean, yeah. I mean this is the thing. Uh, I've said this on this show many times, and I say it on my radio show. I've written about it. It's what I stand for, Carl, yeah. is that I believe, and I hope that maybe this week uh, we'll see our two leaders come out and either give some support or give some money to the programs involved here, that we need to make this a country that looks after women and children first. Yeah. That's where it starts and ends. Now, mate, I've unfortunately seen a lot of domestic violence as a kid around me, not in my house, thank God, but around me. Mm. You know that three young girls who are in my school photo have been brutally murdered? Mm. And, you know, so this is why we go out and we do a lot of things in the community, but we need to do more. And, you know, this is there's still one woman every week being murdered, as I said before. I mean, yeah. we should have that as a, a ticker, like the road toll, to jolt us into the understanding of what the situation Agreed. is with domestic violence. Okay. It's uh, as simple as that. And we have, to, we have to be leaders in it. So it's, that's where it is. That's where it starts and finishes. OK. Um, there are reports, and just so we can clarify, because we've got you on here now, uh, the girl McLaughlin yeah. issued you with, with some kind of warning. You either apologise or you'll be sacked. Is that true? No. No. Okay. It's c completely wrong. Yeah. Completely, 100% wrong. The reporter <laughs> rang me Peter Ford last night. I told him that that was completely wrong. Absolute nonsense. So uh, not at all. Okay. And, and but so, I mean, that, that, all that does is take away from the point that I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not being fitted up here to, to say this. Mm. I mean it. And that's what we're saying here, Carl. So, no, there's no threats. You know what? It's, uh, these things become a battle between media organisations. Everyone's always competing against yeah. each other. It's radio stations against radio stations. Let's just go back to the nub of the issue here. Again, any comments or any language that is seen to promulgate domestic violence or violence against women mm. is totally abhorrent. Are you sorry for those comments? I'm sorry, but I'm sorry that uh, that, that was the way it was certainly perceived. And, uh, you know, the, the commentary, as I said, of uh, joking on the day at uh, on the slide, everyone was joking and mucking around. As I said, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that uh, that was uh, the, the way it came. Oh. It's just that these things are just they're totally out of context mm. and in context. As I said, at the very same time, in the next commentary box, 3AW mm. were doing the same jokes alongside Caroline Wilson. Everyone was laughing about it. I've sent you the grab. If you want to run yeah, it, you'll no, run for it. Sure. But, uh, and we'll do we'll that. See. And, and, yeah. and as we've said, we're trying to get on to Caroline as well and, uh, and we'll wait and see yeah. what she has to say about it at all. I wanted to talk to you about a much sure. lighter subject as well. The Pies, they lost again. Uh, Nathan... <laughs> Nathan Buckley, they're saying, is, is going to get sacked now. Anything you want to say about Nathan Buckley? I think you better retract, mate. Uh, a bit hard to lose if you don't play. We had the bye on the weekend, mate. <laughs> Just, I mean, in a sort of physical sense, a mental sense, figurative sense. Is he going to get the sack? Yes, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm reading the paper today. You are too, Carl. Yeah. What's going on? Is Fordham taking your job? Well, I haven't read that yet, it's but I look forward to it. This morning. <laughs> I well, hope so. Be better get the financial. <laughs> you're in the financial review this morning, mate. Uh, no, uh, mate. We, we, we didn't play in the weekend, Carl. We, we a bit hard to sack a bloke for for not showing up if the whole team wasn't scheduled to play. Um, no, that, that's not a.